Welcome back to the CLV2 tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be covering missions. Alright, so we went ahead and installed some software, we purchased and upgraded our hardware and now we're ready to take on our first mission. We're going to start with something pretty light so go ahead and open up your agent profile module. The first type of mission you're going to want to do is a remove public file and the reason for this is it isn't going to require any hard disk space on your part. All you're going to need to do is remove the target file from the server. And in this case, the server looks like steeldata.corp. So go ahead and select Remove Public File. After reading the mission briefing, you'll understand that there isn't any security checkpoints involved in this mission. All you'll need to do is target this file and erase it. Go ahead and accept this mission. And close the Agent Profile module. Now open up the GPS module. You remember those bounces we did on our SatNet much earlier? Go ahead and load up the bounce route saved on slot 1. Alright, now we've bounced our connection through the CodeLink orientation server. Now we're ready to connect to Steel. Your server is most likely something different. Alright, so I've got Steel Data Industries. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Alright, now that we've connected to Steel Data Industries, go ahead and click the link that says Public Records. Now we need to find the file outlined in our mission. The easiest way to do this is to open our email and open the mission details. Here it tells us we're looking for this file. I would highly recommend looking for the last two digits of the number. Let's go ahead and find the file. We're looking for 876082. And there it is. Now we need to remove the file from the server. And the way that we can do that is by dragging our file killer onto the file clicking the delete button. Once the file is removed, we can return to our agent module and collect our payment. So now the file has been removed, hop into the agent module and click the complete mission button. The mission has been completed and we've received our payment. Alright, now that we've completed the mission and we've collected our payment, we need to go and clean up our log files. So go ahead and disconnect. Close your email. Open up your GPS module and directly connect to the CodeLink orientation server. Once we've connected to ORS, go ahead and jump into the log files. Take a look at your user IP address. Mine ends with 617. So I'm looking for 617 and right here you can see that I've routed through when I can perform that hack. So I want to go ahead and get in the good practice of removing this file. And I can do that using my log killer. I'm going to drag my log killer on top of the route access log. Although there won't be a passive trace on me, it's a good idea to go ahead and remove the log files. Alright, the log file has been removed and I've successfully completed my very first mission. You'll notice my email is blinking and I've got another email saying that I've completed the mission and the pavements have been transferred to my account. Let's go ahead and delete that. Alright, now that we've done the little training mission, we're going to go ahead and do a real mission and in this mission we're going to get a little bonus out of it as well as our reward payment. Alright, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up the agent profile module and once inside the agent profile module down here you will request new missions until you get a mission that says something like gain proxy access and there we go right there gain proxy access for three hundred and one dollars alright that's a pretty good mission to start out with and on top of that we're gonna get an extra little proxy bounce to add to our proxy chain which will buy us more time for future hacking alright so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this mission basically the mission outlines that you are going to need a proxy bypasser 
and once you get into the system you're going to break through the proxy you're going to bounce your connection through it and you're going to return to your agent and tell them that you finished the mission all right let's go ahead and accept this mission all righty go ahead and close your agent profile module and now what we're going to need to do is prep our memory bar for this hack so let's go ahead we're not going to need any of the stuff that we have on there let's go ahead and get rid of everything there by dragging the small x onto the program memory bar and just wiping those programs right off alright go ahead and open up your file module and scoot that over to the side um, you may notice that uh, for some of you veteran players that there's a new button install for uh, program clicks so you don't need to drag it over there if you don't want to but we're gonna go ahead and do that because that's what I'm most familiar with alright so we are looking for a password cracker we're gonna have to get through the security let's go ahead and drag that over there all right, now that we've got that installed, the next thing we're going to want to grab is our proxy bypasser. So go ahead and grab your proxy cracker, drag that one over. Now that we've got our password cracker and our proxy bypasser installed, we're ready to rock. So go ahead and close up the file management system, and let's take a look at our mission email. And you can see we are jumping into, it looks like, Comtrex Corp. All right, so we got to gain access to the Comtrex Corp proxy. All right, now we're ready to connect. So let's go ahead and minimize this and scoot this over here. And we're going to open up our GPS module and take a look at the Comtrex Corp server. All right, before we hop into Comtrex Corp, let's go ahead and load up our previous bounce route. Let's go ahead and jump into Comtrex data. And once we get inside, we're going to want to get into the employee login area because that's where we're going to find access to the proxy. So let's go ahead and click employee login. And you see we're presented with our first security checkpoint. It's a low level password security. And we just happen to have installed our password cracking program. So you can launch a program one of two ways. You can drag it right onto this target area or you can just click the program and it'll pop up here in the corner and then you can drag it onto there. So let's go ahead and click the launch button. Now the password cracker is a fairly simple program. You can see I'm running a version 1, so it's very low level and it's going to function very slowly. However, as I upgrade my system, my CPU gets stronger in comparison to the server CPU and the password cracker will run faster. If I get to a higher advanced level and I beat down on the server or another high level player beats down the CPU of the server then my password will cracker will run much faster you'll notice all these ones and zeros and if I click on the ones it gives me a little boost on my progress bar if I click a zero it subtracts a little bit from the progress bar the speed at which these ones and zeros fly across the password cracker is determined by the level of the password cracker so the higher higher version that you have the faster these ones and zeros are going to scroll across all right, so you can see we're almost finished here. We're just waiting for these last few seconds. And there we go. Now, once we break through this security, our trace tracker is started. And you'll notice up here in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a number that's counting down. It starts with about 150 or so. Right now, I'm at 145. I've got 144 seconds left to perform this mission. So what I need to do is gain access into this proxy. So what I've done is I click the proxy server page which is giving me a security checkpoint for the proxy access. I'm going to drag my proxy bypasser on top of the proxy target and click the launch button. Once the proxy is launched, you'll notice these little white bars start to go down. The higher those white bars are, the faster the proxy is going to run. So you just keep those white bars floating up nice and high and the proxy will run as fast as it possibly can. All right, we're not going to have much time now that we've hacked through the proxy. Go ahead and click the proxy button. Click through and immediately open your GPS module and click Save Route. Now that we've done that, disconnect. That was a close call. Now that we've completed the mission, go ahead and open up the Agent Profile module and click Complete Mission. Now go ahead and close the module. Now we've added in the GPS module an extra proxy onto Slot 1. Let's go ahead and check that out now. Click Slot 1. You can see our connection has bounced from the gateway into the CodeLink orientation server, then over to Comtrex data. 
We can continue doing this over and over hacking proxies on different servers to buy us more time during our hacks. Let's go ahead and remove our log files from the orientation server. So go ahead and uninstall the proxy bypasser by dragging the small x on top, opening the file manager, and go ahead and reinstall the log killer. Now that we have the log killer installed, go ahead and connect your GPS module to the CodeLink orientation server. From here, we'll take a look at the log files and remove whatever logs we left behind when routing through the CodeLink orientation server to perform the hack. This way, we will eliminate any chance of a passive trace. All right, jump into the log files, and we'll go ahead and scoot it over and see my route there, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that log. Once that log is removed, I no longer have any trace from me to that crime. I've broken the chain, and I'm in the clear. All right, the log has been removed, and we are complete. That concludes the beginner tutorial mission video, and uh, stay tuned as I finish some more of these videos in the future that get into more advanced missions. But for now, I'm worried about getting these new players off the ground. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video.